Yo, what's going on, shroomies and shroomettes? It's your boy, Easy Blue Thumb, and we are back with another one. And in today's video, we are going to learn how to add a casing layer to our substrate once it is fully colonized with that beautiful mycelium we all love. And we are going to introduce fruiting conditions. Let's go. We're gonna get a nice little 360. See what we got going on in here before we actually open it up. Have a perfect little microclimate of humidity in here. And this is 11 days after we set this grain and substrate to bulk. And look at that, it's beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and open it up, see what we got. Ooh, ooh wee. Let's go, baby, look at that. Man, this feeling never gets old. It is beautiful. Look at that. The camera does not do this justice. It's got water beating up on top. I think this is about the perfect time for us to add this casing layer. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's go. Okay, so for this cocoa core casing layer, we are using Philly Golden Teachers bucket tech method. And we had a 350 gram cocoa core brick. We added 14 cups of water, high heat for 10 minutes. Got it to a rolling boil, poured the water in the bucket, waited about five hours, and we were good to go. So thank you, Philly Golden Teacher, for this bucket tech. You guys go check out Philly Golden Teacher's content for more knowledgeable videos. Perfect field capacity. Thank you, sir. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to add a thin layer of this cocoa core to our substrate. You want to make sure it's nice and even. And this is the first time that I'm actually adding a proper casing layer. Uh, my previous grow was only a pseudo casing and that was only added once we went to bulk and once the cake was fully colonized I just set it to fruiting conditions so we're gonna try to do things a little different and see if we yield different results yeah I'm sure so that's what we're doing. Just gonna make sure this is nice and even. A thin layer. I'm not sure on how much to add, but I'm just gonna use a little bit of logic and not go super crazy and add another cake on the top of what we got. So I'm just gonna add a thin layer and I'm going to gently pack it down Now the six quart tub that I'm using has like a midway divider. So that's what I'm using as my level. 
so for this grow we have going on right now i am using the mush cult supply one quart grain jar and the mush cult supply cvg substrate so guys go on and check out mushcultsupply.com use code ezb at checkout for 10 percent off now, I do know that certain varieties of mushrooms benefit more than others from having a proper casing layer. So that's why we're going to add this. Plus, it's my first time adding one and I feel like it's necessary for the experience. Plus, we made our own cocoa substrate, so that's always good as well just to have that knowledge and experience knowing that it's not that difficult of a process. So I'm just gonna pat this down, make it nice and even, not too thick, but not too thin. Once again, I'm not sure what's the proper depth of it. So we're just gonna go by feeling a little bit of logic also, just a heads up, I did not mention earlier in the video, but at this stage in your grow, the mycelium is a bit more resistant to that nasty word that we shall not mention. You guys know what I mean, but it's a bit more resistant to that. So I'm not sure if we necessarily had to pasteurize this cocoa core layer but we did anyways just to be on the safe side and to know that whatever bacteria may have been lurking in our coca core brick is no longer there. Okay, so that's just a heads up. just gonna finish packing this down get a nice little even spread at our final touches of cocoa and we're gonna wind up cleaning our edges making sure we get the rest of that cocoa down off our wall and guys remember we're not packing this down super hard we're just giving it a light tap All right, check it out. Gotta see if you can see that nice little layer we have. See, not too thick, not too thin. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. Gonna take our paper towel, just wipe down the edge of the wall. Get all that substrate back down in there. Keep everything nice and clean. At this point, we are going to introduce our secret solution, which is our 9.5 pH water, four sprays, four light mist, you don't want to oversaturate this cocoa core casing layer because we already have it at the perfect field capacity. For growing mushroom, you don't want your substrate to be too dry, but at the same time, you don't want it to be overly saturated with moisture. Field capacity in short is your moisture content that your substrate has. So having proper field capacity is definitely important. Okay, so we sprayed down our dub tub lid with our secret solution of 9.5 pH water. We're gonna place our lid on top, making sure that we have the proper amount of space for our fresh air exchange or FAE and we should be good to go. 
Okay, so at the end of the process, this is what we have for our casing layer and introducing fruiting conditions with our six quart dub tub. Looking good, looking good. So we're gonna stuff that back into our tent. We're gonna let it sit and do its thing. I appreciate you shroomies and shroomettes for rocking with your boy. Catch you on the flip side. Y'all be easy. Peace.